Hey guys, Dylan here and I decided to make another video about this Romania Pro and this would be a little review of what actually happened this show now after the MPC News Online website posted these high quality photos when we can actually see what actually happened. So in my videos that I made before I was using some Instagram photos and the videos that somebody filmed with their phones so it wasn't really high quality videos to put it mildly, it was really horrible quality but I made a pretty good judgment who's gonna win it, but it was pretty obvious, of course, Cedric, who else would win it, because of his structure, you know, he, he's just uh, so gifted in so many ways, compared to the other guys who were just not on his level, so it was obvious that uh, Cedric is gonna win it, but I thought the second place would actually be Regan instead of Juan, but apparently I was wrong, Juan took second and Regan took third, and honestly, I really liked what Regan brought, he wasn't at his best, but he really stood out next to the other guys with his symmetry, with his stomach that was flat and with an amazing abdominal development. A few minutes ago, Regan posted this photo right here and he says left or right. So I commented on his photo, I gave him my opinion and that's something that I like to do. I like to comment people's Instagram photos and YouTube videos. Sometimes I get blocked, <laughs> very often I get blocked. And no matter what, no matter how many subscribers I get, I'll keep commenting on people's videos and photos. That's something I like to give my opinion. And that's one of the reasons I made this channel. So my opinion was, my comment was, your abs made you stand out on that stage. And that's the truth. I mean, that's what I saw. Guys, Regan is a youngster. He's only 26. The other guys are in their late 30s, mid 30s to early 40s. And uh, he's just starting. He just made a comeback from classic physique. And on this stage, compared to these guys, I mean, Cedric is one of the top guys. He's one of the bodybuilders that can win the Mr. Olympia if he gets in shape. Juan Morel is the New York Pro winner, I think, multiple times. He won it this year, that's for sure. He won uh, Arnold Classic uh, South America this year. These guys have been around for quite some time and they won the pro shows, and so many of them. And the Regan is just starting, really. And he actually stood out. He stood out. Why? I think that's because of his abs and because of his tight waist and also the ability to hit vacuum and overall V taper that he has narrow waist, wide chest, I mean wide clavicles, shoulders and also big legs. So I really liked his physique and the abs, that's the center of the physique. No matter how hard you try, you cannot take your look away from it. If you look at Cedric here, sure his lats are big, his legs are good, his arms are big, but you cannot just stop staring at that horrible stomach. And then your eyes just get drawn away from his stomach to Regan's stomach. You just focus on Regan's beautiful symmetrical abs. Small waist, big legs, developed serratus and defined, good conditioning. So that's why I liked his physique. I really liked it. I mean, I'm not one of those people who is like uh, hating on bubble guts too much. I understand if somebody is 300 pounds, of course, they're going to have a little bit of a bubble gut. But uh, when I see a beautiful stomach, I really like it. It looks good. It looks good. Look at this pose right now. Just look how aesthetic this looks. Compared to Cedric, I mean, who is known for being aesthetic, I mean, just because of the stomach, just because of the stomach, it stands out. I really like it. I mean, his chest is very full, uh, which was his weak point when he was younger, I noticed, but he somehow got them very big and very full. His arms are looking very good as well. His biceps are not so good in the front double bicep, but when he puts them aside in the relaxed pose and so on, his arms look good and full, so that's not a problem. But here you can see Regan uh, in these MPC News Online official photos that are very high quality. And you will notice that uh, all bodybuilders on that stage seemed a little washed up, and I think that's because of the lighting. I think they were all in a decent shape, sure. But I think the lighting really made them all look sort of bland. I mean, you cannot really see any shadows, any definition. And that's not because of the conditioning, the lack of the conditioning. It's, I think it's just the lighting. So here you can actually see how tight his waist is, how good of a V-taper he has, and uh, what he is missing. Well, he is missing a couple of years of training under his belt. He needs to get a little bit more matured, a little bit bigger in some areas, and ideally to come more shredded. Now, he just switched from classic physique and actually came to the open division. Now, there is a difference in judging in these two divisions. What is the most important thing in classic? Details, conditioning, that's what's most important in classic. In the open, it's a little bit different. Mass is more important. 
you saw that at the Mr. Olympia. Rolly Winkler was in top five, and there were guys who were peeled out of their minds. For example, Patrick Moore, who was 10th place, and Rolly was fifth. Why? Because he was bigger. And the winner was not super conditioned. William Bonac and Harry Chopin were way more conditioned than Brandon Curry. So, I mean, there is so many other arguments, but it is obvious that in bodybuilding, conditioning is not the most important thing. Size is. So, Regan had to come bigger. And he did great. He took third place against some really good pros. I mean, if he won against Juan, if he took second instead of him, that would be probably a little bit too much. That would be crazy. I mean, sure, I would like to see that happen, and I would like to see him deserve that, but it would be a huge jump, because Juan Morel is honored classic winner, our classic South America, I think two times New York Pro Champion, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it happened two times. So one of the top guys, a multiple Mr. Olympia contender, Reagan is not even close to that, but I'm sure, based on the points, if he keeps competing, he will be at the Mr. Olympia, and I would love to see him up there. He definitely deserves that, I mean, compared to the other guys who were up there this year, he would be a great addition. So it's definitely not a priority, especially for somebody this young, to be shredded. He needs to be big to be competitive, but he wants to be, you know, like Phil Heath type of Mr. Olympia winner, or just a good bodybuilder, he would have to get way more sharper, and before he does that, he would need to get much bigger. So, I'm looking forward to seeing that, I hope that's gonna happen, but I wanted to say that his back looked really good in this show, and overall, he has a good back, really well-developed back, which is something that most bodybuilders are struggling with. He apparently has no problems with it, and by being only 26 years old, I can just imagine how this back will look when he's like 35 or something, if he keeps improving year after year, which I do expect from him. He seems very focused and determined to be a very good professional bodybuilder, and hopefully win the Mr. Olympia. If Jay Cutler is right, he may just do that. What about Cedric at the Romania Pro? Well, he wasn't off. For his standards, this isn't off. This is off. This would be off for guys like Phil Heath, or Sean Rodden, or Dexter Jackson, and so on, but for Cedric, this isn't really off. This isn't his best, by any means, but it's not horrible. He was worse than this. Yeah, he was. But hey, it was good enough for him to win this show. And he probably knew that. He knew that he doesn't need to stress too much about it. He is colliding against guys like Juan Morel, who are nowhere near him as far as structure. I mean, no matter how sharp Juan gets, he'll probably never be able to beat guys like Cedric, because Cedric is complete head-to-toe. -to -toe. Seriously, the only thing that he is not complete at is conditioning, but if he just comes good enough that you can't say that he was off, he will win these type of shows easily. He won't be able to beat the top guys, but guys like Juan Morel, who are not even top 10 at the Mr. Olympia, yeah, yeah, he can beat them easily. With his back, with his glutes, with his hamstrings, with his shape, his arms, and legs, and just the overall completeness of the physique. So, rather easy win for him. And again, I mean, these shots right here, these photos, I think that the, the, the lighting really made him look uh, this watery or just bland. I mean, no separation, no cuts, really. I mean, you can see them in the hamstrings, so you can assume that he was in conditioning and that the lighting was the only problem, one of the problems. And that's what I would say because of that and some other body parts. But I think it was, you know, usual shape for Cedric that isn't completely off, which was more than enough for him to win this show. As far as Juan Morel, you guys know that this guy has horrible legs, horrible quads, and not the great symmetry. But I'm thinking that the photographer at this show was personal friends with him. She really caught him in his best angles and only his best poses. I cannot really find any of his bad poses. But uh, you can see right here that uh, his legs were small. His back, even though it is very thick, especially the shoulders and this upper trap area, it's very, very thick, but it's not very symmetrical. He doesn't have great balance, doesn't have a flow. Um, his glutes are thick and... Uh, very dry, and his hamstrings as well, but uh, the quads, overall legs are just too small, the, the calves as well, and um, he's overall not very balanced in this pose, but his back is pretty thick, so I guess that's an argument for him to win against Regan. That and the overall muscularity and the maturity and vascularity that the guys who are competing for a long time have, but those legs were definitely horrible, and this pose right here, 
in which you cannot see that the lack of the size in his legs is what made him win against Regan. So, I mean, look at his chest, look at his arms, shoulders and everything, and now compare it to Regan. Huh, night and day difference, right? I mean, look at that pack that he's showing to us, the right one. Where is that bottom line? It just blends in with the abs. And I don't think it's the lack of size. He, he actually added some size, some serious size on his chest in the past few years. When he started his career, when he was a, an amateur, it was his weakness. It was obvious that his chest were lacking so bad. And later he actually added a lot of mass on them. And in this pose, it just looks really bad. And uh, I'm sure he practiced posing a lot. So I'm pretty sure he knows what he's doing. But I'm pretty convinced that this is not the best way for him to hit the pose because his chest looks so flat, super flat. You cannot see the outline, the, the shadow under his right pack. There isn't any. There is just, you know, a void and his chest is blending in with, with the stomach. So that, that's a huge minus. That's a huge minus, especially against somebody like Juan Morel, whose chest is absolutely hanging there. It's just hanging, a, a lot of mass on his chest. I mean, you can hate his genetics, his small legs, his uh, asymmetry, his small calves or whatever, but you must admire his chest. This is one of the best chest in modern bodybuilding, literally. Look at all that meat up there. Just outstanding. And uh, his legs don't seem small at all in this pose. You cannot see how small his calves are. His arms are even looking big, which is also one of his weaknesses. So very good shot for him and uh, probably what made him a winner against Regan and of course, overall muscle maturity, conditioning as well, you know, that granity look that he has. So, yeah, deserved, deserved second place against Regan. But Regan also made a mark and uh, I had him winning. So, third place for Regan in this kind of show against these guys, it's a huge success, honestly, it's a huge success. If you guys by some chance don't know the results of the show, you had Cedric winning it. Juan Morel was second, Regan Grimes was third, fourth place was Max Charles, fifth place was James Hollingshead uh, from the UK, who I'm a huge fan of and can't wait to see him progress and achieve much better results in the future, which I'm pretty sure is gonna happen, it's just a matter of time. And at the sixth spot, you had Boyani Wano, the yellow guy right here on the left between Cedric and Juan Morel, who is from Bulgaria, he is not from Russia, like I said in my previous video. I said I think he's from Russia and uh, like 20 people said, He's from Bulgaria, he's from Bulgaria, all right, all right, he's from Bulgaria. And that's your top six right here. All in for all, very good show. I think it was hyped because of Regan Grimes. He's the star. He has a bunch of followers on Instagram and he has a lot of subscribers on YouTube and he was documenting his prep. This was his comeback in the open division. And I think that's the reason why this show got so much hype. It really was a good show, I mean, Regan was not so on, but much better compared to his Mr. Olympia Classic Physique Edition. Cedric was not so much on, like he was in Hungary two weeks ago, but he was good enough, good enough to win the show. Juan Morel, nothing special again, especially not as good as he looks in his mirror at home. Max Charles, much better than Hungary. And that's about it, guys, I mean, uh, I just wanted to point out how good Regan actually looked, I mean, compared to his classic physique days and compared to last time he competed in the Open, he looked really good. He looked really good. He was full, he was big and his stomach was flat. He had no bubble gut anywhere on the side and uh, his waist was small, great V taper or neck taper. So a great show, a great showing from Regan Grimes. I was really uh, amazed by his physique this show. It really left a mark. We can just hope that he actually sets an example that this will become a standard in the future. That bodybuilders will always have flat stomachs without double guts, with uh, developed and symmetrical abs and so on. So beautiful with taper and that type of stuff. So I hope so. I hope that's going to be the standard. And what do you guys think about this show? Tell me down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this review of the show, tell me about that and like the video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe for more bodybuilding coverage and all kinds of bodybuilding videos. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. All the best and bye-bye.